everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi, and today I am back with another video for you guys. As you can guess by the title, I am doing the assumptions about me video. I've kind of done this semi before with my mum when we were doing a mukbang. I made her answer the assumptions about me. Um, but they were never like really like juicy assumptions. So I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram um, Some of your assumptions about me or tell me your assumptions about me. Clearly. I'm not getting this right um, And you guys have come up with loads So I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna try and do it in the quick fire way where I don't sit and think too much about the question I'm gonna try my best to do that if it's questions I don't need to think too much about if you guys don't have me on Instagram It is Persian bunny. I usually post a lot of stories on there and fashion content So don't forget to check it out and if if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like because it actually gives you loads more videos like this one and don't forget to subscribe for more videos after this I'm filming a vlog of my day so I'd love for you guys to see that okay so first one people think you're rude until they meet you and realize you're an angel um okay that's so sweet I don't think the person who've written this I've ever met um I'd like to think that people don't think I'm really rude I don't know what about me would have given off a vibe that I'm rude um so I hope people don't think I'm rude but I don't know I guess you guys can answer that down below but so far all of you guys who I've met in real life have all been really nice and um hopefully you guys like me too but I love all of you guys so yeah I don't know if that answers the question or not next one you got out of a relationship you're not looking for a boyfriend but you're having trouble connecting with someone that's quite deep okay I have not just got out of a relationship um it's true I'm not looking for a boyfriend I am focusing on myself and where I am in my career like I've literally just come out of uni and I'm just starting work and I've got like a lot of goals ahead of me so I think um it would be nice if I met someone but I'm not really looking for someone next one is like completely juxtaposition you are desperate for getting a boyfriend but you pretend that you are not at all I'm not desperate to get a boyfriend. I think if I wanted a boyfriend, I'd have a boyfriend. I know that sounds so obnoxious, but I just think like in general, like there's always like a time where you meet someone and you're like, mm, I, we could date, but I just don't have that, like that spark, that chemistry, that algorithm, you know? <laughs> There's no such thing as an algorithm. What am I on about? But you know what I mean? Like, as in, I feel like if you wanted to have a boyfriend, you could have a boyfriend. If you wanted to have a girlfriend, you could have a girlfriend. You could settle easily. Um, but no, I'm not, so. Next one. You don't like any guys right now. Oh, there's so many ones about my relationship. You don't like any guys right now, and that's why you are single. Uh, that's not true, necessarily. That's not why I'm single. There, there has been people that I've liked, um, but it may not have necessarily like worked out, or they may not have been the one for me, but they're still great people. So, um, yeah, that's not why I'm single. Next assumption, you're down to earth. I'd like to think I'm down to earth. I think... Um, my family keep me really grounded. I think that my friends are really like grounded and humble as well. And my job definitely keeps me really grounded because I think I get to talk to people from all walks of life and meet people from all over. And what, the way your personality is as a doctor, I think most of us are the same. We don't judge anything and we don't ever um, judge anyone or anyone's circumstances and we're always open-minded and some people need to be trained to think that way and some people start off in medical school thinking that way and I definitely started off in medical school thinking that way just because I've always had that mentality that like you don't actually know you can't judge a book by its cover you don't actually know what's going on in people's lives and um, someone might look like they have it all and they actually don't have anything and someone else might look like they have nothing and they have everything so um, yeah you can't judge someone by by what you perceive on the outside and so you should just you know get to know them personally and um just be true to yourself when you are getting to know people and friends and whatever you find personal training a waste of money um this isn't true i had a personal trainer for almost three years and he was really good he helped me to get into the habit of going to the gym but i think now that i know all of the exercises i wouldn't necessarily go with a personal trainer to train because i know what i need to do in order to get a specific outcome so I'm not going to train with a personal trainer for that and also I'm determined enough to go gym so I love going gym now mainly because it is such a stress relief for me like I'll wake up having a crappy day and I'm just like I just want to go to the gym like I can't think of anything better than to just 
blow, blow off some steam. I literally don't even go for physique anymore. It's probably like 20% of the reason why I go. 80% of it is to do with my mental health. It's so good. If you guys are going through like a rut with anything, you find work stressful, life stressful, the pandemic, anything that's going on, I promise you do some exercise, whether it be at home or you can get to a gym, it will make you feel so good. Okay, next assumption, you're picky in choosing your friends. So I don't think I'm... No, actually, you're right. I am picky and choosing my friends. And I think I'm actually really, really super friendly. And um, sometimes I let people in too easily. And um, one of my really good friends, shout out to you. You know who you are. He told me that I'm uh, I'm too kind and sometimes people can take advantage of that. And when he told me that, he told me that like a year ago. Ever since then, I've always like thought about how he said that. And then I've realized that he, like how many aspects he was right about that. So I think... Um, recently as i've gotten older um it's been harder for me to find friends that like genuinely want to be my friend for me and don't have some sort of like ulterior motive or something like that or who i can genuinely connect connect with whereas like from school and stuff like of course you have those organic relationships so it's easy to maintain those so yeah i think now that i'm older i'm much more pickier because i have had it where i have been to kind of let people in too easily and felt like I shouldn't have done that. So next one says, I assume that you're a hardworking and kind person and a little heart. Thank you, Han. Um, I think I am hardworking. I definitely try and um, put 100 into whatever it is I'm doing and try and do my best for it. And I'm always seeking to grow like and be the best version of myself. So. I think in order to do that, you have to be hardworking and you have to be determined. Don't get me wrong, but like everyone, I have lazy days or even lazy periods. Um, but I still try and pick myself back up and like be positive and like positive attitude and mentality and just, you know, get myself together. As for being a kind person, I think it's really hard to call yourself kind. But like my grandma thinks I'm kind, you know, my friends think I'm kind. So maybe I'm kind. You have boys flocking around you 24-7, you will fire XXX. So I don't actually agree with this. I don't think I have a flock of boys around me 24 seven at all, um, or coming after me. I think that's what you meant. Um, don't get me wrong, I do get loads of strangers like DMing me all the time. Um, but in general, like I think, yeah, I don't get approached as much as people think or like DM'd by people that I know as much as people think. It's mainly like people who like are like, not anywhere near in my social field to feel more confident to come up to me. Don't know. Next assumption, you got lip filler. Well, they said filter, but I think they meant filler. No, I don't have lip filler. I just overline my lips with lip liner. That doesn't mean to say that I will never get lip filler. I think lip fillers look really nice on people who do get it, and I think it's up to you if you think you want it at the time and if it will suit your face or not and making sure that you're not allergic to the filler and the dissolver. So, um... Yeah, I would never say never, but right now I don't have any. You kind of spend a lot of money. Um, what is a lot? Because I think I spend a lot on going out and eating out with my friends. I probably eat out six days a week, which sounds awful because that means I'm only home one day a week, which is pretty much true, I'm not going to lie. Um, and some days I eat out, most days actually, I eat out for like at least two two of the meals um yeah i just i'm the kind of person who loves going out my grandma's the same my mom's the same like it's i don't know if it's a genetic thing but i love going out to eat and like sitting around people in restaurants and like chatting to the waiter and all of this like that's like so much fun for me and plus the food always tastes really good so yeah i do love to eat eat out and i think that does take up a lot of money to spend um but other than that I do spend a lot of money on clothes as well, but I wouldn't say I spend more than I can afford to spend, if that makes sense. I don't overspend on anything, and I'm trying to be more conscious on my spending on clothes, and even on eating out, I'm trying to be careful on how much I eat out and how often, because I want to kind of get into the habit of, now I'm actually an adult. Like, I always used to joke, like, oh, adult life, blah, 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 but I'm genuinely an adult now, so if I want to be an adult, I need to start acting like an adult, and that involves budgeting and being mindful of how much you spend so i'm working on it guys <laughs> next assumption you are really short i'm five foot two is that really short or is that just short i think it's just short um next assumption you're an introvert 
absolutely not. I am the most extroverted, extra, extra, extrovert you will ever meet. I'm really like outgoing. I'd say my personality is quite like bubbly and um, chatty. One of my friends described me the other day as happy-go-lucky and I was like, what on earth do you mean by that? She was like, you're just really like positive and like you're always happy and you're always trying to make like everyone like laugh or be in the best scenario. So um, yeah, I think that kind of does describe me quite well. Like I'm quite like, I'm not loud. Like you won't like walk into a restaurant and hear me shouting my stories like mwah ha ha. But, <laughs> what on earth was that? But you will definitely like hear me if you walk into a restaurant, you will hear some laughter and some chats from our table and I will talk to people easily. I just, I don't, I, ha I have a lot of confidence. I don't mind, I don't care. So yeah. Someone said you're an innocent soul. I think I am an innocent soul. I don't know, I, I agree. Next one, you are shallow. Who's gonna actually agree to this? I'm like, yeah, I'm really shallow. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think I'm shallow. Um, next one, you have a very high standards. That's very true. I'm gonna presume that you mean in all aspects of life and not just like probably boys <laughs> um, But yeah, I do have high standards. I have high standards for myself what I expect of myself what I how well I expect to do um, how I want things done in a certain way and um, I do have high standards for the person that I want to meet as well in case that's what you meant when you put something in your head You make it happen also for a guy. It's hard to steal your heart because you're hard to get Okay, I think for the first part, um, when I get something in my head, I have to make it happen. That's so true. Like, if I have an idea, like, I will definitely push forward and persevere and try and, like, do my best to get get to it. But I always have to think something through as well. I don't just, like, think of something and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me do it. I think things through and I make sure that it's the best thing for me to do, whatever it may be. I don't, like, kind of um, act spontaneously without thinking on important matters. When it comes to like going out and stuff, I'll act very spontaneously, but for important things, I don't. And the second part, for a guy, it's hard to steal your heart because you're hard to get. I think, um, I'm not hard to get. I think if we click, then I'm actually really easy to get, believe it or not. I think if, if our personalities like gel really well, um, then I'm easy, easy to get in terms of like hanging out with and stuff, but I think it takes me a very, very long time to like give someone my full trust. Um, and I don't know why that is, but I just, I feel like in my head, like if you're, if you've just met someone, then like you can't trust them 100% immediately, no matter how much you like them, I think it'd be a bit naive. So it does take me a while to trust someone fully. But in terms of like attraction and stuff like that, I think attraction is something you pretty much know straight away and I don't mean from looking at each other I mean from sitting with each other and talking like that's when you know last one and I'll make it juicy your father pays for most of your expensive purchases no my dad doesn't actually pay for most of my expensive purchases so and I know a lot of you guys watch my YouTube from rich kids go skint obviously a lot of you guys might not have even heard of it but I was on a TV show called rich kids go skint when I was 21 but I actually filmed it when I was 20 I believe, I can't remember. I said it in the show how old I was. But um, obviously back then I was a student and I think also another thing that people have to take into consideration is TV shows are always like dramatized a little bit to make it more interesting and you kind of like, you kind of dramatize how much of a daddy's princess you are or something like that. But I've always had jobs since I was like 16. Um, I've had jobs and I've worked and I've earned my own money. I've had jobs where I've worked minimum wage and I've had jobs where I was like tutoring and making like minimum like 30 pounds an hour up to like 50 pounds an hour when I was 18, 19. So I've had all of those kinds of jobs on different spectrums and I know the value of money and I know how hard it can be to earn and I know how difficult it can be to save and I know how much all of it means. Um, well, I like to believe that I do. And I don't think I've ever had anything just handed to me like whatever, like I expect it. Obviously my parents will buy me things. I am their child. Um, but now that I'm older, I'm 24, um, it's a lot more different and I have a job now and I make a living for myself. So I don't need someone to fund me. So no one funds me. And that's that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you want a part two to this, 
let me know in the comments. Anything else you want to watch, let me know down below and I will film it for you 100%. Um, don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked in the description too. My Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Steppy Samai. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!